What's up VR enthusiasts, this is Danny from VR Punch and today I'm gonna give you a quick guide on how to resolve tracking issues on your Valve Index. I upgraded to the Index from my CD1 and from the start I was plagued with tracking issues. At first I thought this was faulty hardware, but after a bit of research I fixed my tracking issues and the Index works like a charm. First let's check the basics, check that all the cables are fine and not tangled, the base stations aren't broken and everything is in one piece. And before we continue to the tips and fixes it would be awesome if you click the like button and consider subscribing. It helps me a lot and it would keep you updated on any new content I upload. Check that your computer meets the minimum system requirements. Sometimes performance issues and VR can mimic tracking issues. So this step is important. After you check that your PC is VR ready, I strongly suggest enabling the performance graph in the Steam VR options menu. This option allows you to check that you are getting good performance in the game itself. You can enable this option in the Steam VR settings menu. Just just click the display performance graph option. To see the performance graph inside the headset choose the show GPU performance graph in headset option. It is located under the development tab inside the Steam VR settings window. You need to make sure that the headset is connected to a USB 3.0 port. One of the limitations that can cause tracking issues is the USB bandwidth. What can help is to disconnect any USB devices that are not needed. A good start is just a keyboard and a mouse and then add one device at a time with short gaming sessions in between. Now, after knowing that our PC is powerful enough and that we connected the index as intended, let's prepare our playroom. The base stations work by sweeping laser beams across the play area, so the room must be prepared to let the base stations work optimally. Cover reflective surfaces like mirrors, glass doors. This doesn't help cover the screen and the glass panel on the PC case. Avoid bright light. The room must be dark, so cover your windows and turn off the light. If your Valve Index Kit is new, check that you do not forget to remove the film stickers from the base stations. Ensure that the base stations are properly secured to the wall to prevent movement and vibrations that interfere with the tracking. When was the last time you cleaned the base station? If the glass panel is not full of dust, you can wipe it with a dry microfiber cloth. I personally use the wet and dry wipes made for lenses. If your base stations aren't connected with a sync cable, they should be in mode B and mode C. If they are connected to a sync cable, the base station should be in mode A and B. And now for the final tip that improved my index tracking tremendously. Position the base stations correctly. To get good tracking, at least one of the base stations need to see your controllers and headset. For optimal results, the headset and controllers need to be seen by all the base stations you have. For that to happen, we need to position the base stations so they would point to the center of the play area without any abstractions. I do it by identifying the center of the play area and by placing a phone in selfie mode on the base station's glass panel itself so that I can be sure that it points where I want it. So we've checked that our PC is powerful enough and that the headset is connected properly, we prepared our playroom and configured the base stations as needed. I hope that after following all these instructions you're index headset works as intended now. If not, I suggest checking again that all the cables are in good condition and advise you to check the headset with another PC before continuing your troubleshooting journey further. This was Danny with VR Punch. Please don't forget to like the video if it was helpful and consider subscribing. See you next time.